school is just a month away, and yet Lewiston Porter schools are without a busing contract. Ransomville Bus Lines, the district's longtime carrier, notified Lewport officials in June that it would not extend its contract with the school. Assistant Superintendent Don Rappold says the bus company could no longer operate at previous rates. They could not run a business based on a zero extension of last year's contract. You know, if it were 2% or 3%, they could possibly do that. But they determined that they could not provide the current service based on a 0% consumer price index uh, increase. This morning, the contract was reopened for bids, but Ransomville Bus Lines was the only company to make an offer. They submitted new numbers to provide next year's service. In other words, I'm sure, um, I'm pretty um, sure that uh, when the numbers are calculated, the cost will be more than we were paying under the extension of the contract. Rappold says the school has already passed its budget for the next year, and if the contract exceeds the budgeted amount, the taxpayers will have to finance the difference. We're going to have to make a, an adjustment in the budget, which will probably impact the uh, tax levy. Despite the uncertainty, though, Rappold says that buses will be ready for the start of school in September.